All right, guys. So today we have Jessica here today uh, sharing about her Airbnb uh, in Escondido and um, how you got started as a host. How are you doing, Jessica? I'm well, thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Good stuff. No, um, we got the weekend ahead of us. Yes, 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 yes. And then the holidays coming up. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, and we connected on Facebook and stuff. Um, you're, tell me a little bit more about, um, yeah, your Airbnb, how you got started. Uh, I noticed you have a horse in the background of your, of, like in the back right here. Mm-hmm. Um, and then uh, you were saying, like, uh, what's the name of your horse? My horse is named Lefty. I've had him for over 30 years and he's about 36. So he, I had a professional photographer come out and take pictures of my horses. And, uh, and this picture just was like, it was amazing. I loved it. So, um, yeah, I had it printed up and I work from home. I'm on zoom calls all day. So it was really nice for me to kind of integrate that because my animals are a big part of who I am. And, uh, you know, so I was able to bring that on and I think that's what has brought on a lot of our guests um, is the fact that you know we've got animals and we've got all kinds of you know areas to walk around on the property um, and uh, especially with families kids they love to come and see the, the chickens and the goats and, and the, the horses yeah, um, yeah. so, so what, what is it that you do for a living again I'm a dental hygienist. I'm a registered dental hygienist, and I do um, online telehealth um, therapy for people with like tongue thrust. So it's called myofunctional therapy, and I do it through um, Zoom and in person too. But um, yeah, today was my work from home day, so it's kind of nice. I get to be home and you know yes. take care of whatever needs to be taken care of, and still and still be able to work. But I do hygiene. Um, part time awesome. as well. Good. Awesome. Yeah. So how did? Yeah. So we need to hear the story. Like, how did you get started? In yeah. The so game? like, what's what's going on? <laughs> yeah. So we, um, my family and I, bought uh, this property where we are um, uh, almost seven years ago, and um, it came with a little apartment above the garage a little granny flat has a full kitchen bathroom and it's just a studio but it's really big and we thought this is great because we're going to have family and come friends come visit us all the time and it's wonderful and just busy with kids and everything else we realized we weren't having it used very often and it was just sitting there and um it was you know we had furnished it and so we started looking at, I think we had used an Airbnb and I kind of got used to, you know, the, the concept of it. And we, I put it on, I put it on Airbnb. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know anything about it. This was before a lot of the like Facebook groups. I hadn't joined any of it. So I kind of went in blindly, but um, our first guest were a wonderful family from, they were, their son was in like a, a soccer tournament or something like that. And they came uh, for a week and they stayed or five days, something like that. And they stayed um, in our place and they were super nice. And it was kind of like our little, you know, way to get into what we're doing. And now we realize that um, I was, I was very careful who I rent it to because my family lives here, my kids, my husband, And I wanted to make sure that, you know, we didn't, that we geared it more toward like either couples or young, you know, families. Um, And so it was rented maybe once or twice a month for the first year, two years. And then summers started getting busy. And then we started getting a little bit busier. And last year we were, last two years, we were pretty consistent um i i want it to just be a short-term rental it's not for long term we don't have washer dryer that sort of thing but um you know we've met some pretty amazing people on the way in the in the process yeah where was that first family you said the first family was from where they were from you know what actually i think they were from 
Central America. Like they came up for some big, so where we live in Southern California and San Diego County, there was like a, there was like a huge soccer tournament that was, you know, kids from all over the place. And they came for this tournament and, and that's what, um, I believe that's what they were coming from. I, it's been a few years, but I'm pretty sure that's, yeah. that was yeah, the yeah. first. How did, how, yeah. did you, how did you get connected with them again? I don't know if you said. Just through Airbnb. I don't know. Oh. They found our place. I listed cool. it on Airbnb. Cool. Um, I took my pictures. I'm constantly updating my pictures because we've changed some things. We've added like a Keurig to our coffee, you know, oh, rather nice. than a coffee pot. We've added, uh, you know, we have a microwave and a cooktop. Um, it was interesting when the people who we bought our house from, they're the ones that put the, the granny flat together. They put like a full size dishwasher, mm-hmm. but no um, oven or stove. So it's a funny little kitchen, but mm-hmm. it works. It totally works for short term. Yeah. But um, it has a, like a really nice dishwasher, but we added like a cooktop and a microwave and a refrigerator mm-hmm. and a toaster and some other, you know, essentials for yeah. staying. A lot of our guests with families, they don't want to go out to eat every meal. So the fact that we have all of those amenities makes it, they appreciate that because then they can cook their breakfast and their lunch or, you know, breakfast and dinner and they can be gone during the day come home, have their dinner and um, be in for the evening. Yeah. Yeah. And how long have you been um, doing Airbnb for? I think um, 2015 or 2016, maybe 2016. 2016. Okay. Yeah. I think 20, I'm going to say 2016. 2016. Awesome. So a little over four years now. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Or coming up on five. Yeah. Or however whatever the math is something, in terms of I know maybe like it was 2017 it might you know it's either four or five years something like that yeah okay, okay cool it's gone fast it yeah. has it's gone it's gone fast and the the latest with COVID was interesting because mm-hmm. we had so we we actually had a lot of bookings this spring mm. um that was like really? We had a lot of um, kids who, college kids coming, you know, here for spring break. And we had, like, we were booked. It was looking really good. And then COVID hit. Shut oh. everything down. Oh. They all canceled because the flights were canceled. You know, everything was canceled. So, yeah. so when I was realizing that all of my guests had to cancel, I mean, it was fine. It, it was what it was. Um I just blocked out everything. I blocked out like all of March, April, May. And I think I blocked out most of June. Mm. And then I opened it back up because things were starting to open up again. We were start, you know, able to go to the beaches. We were able to go on our, you know, hikes and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, I started getting booked and I have been, I've never been so busy since we reopened and mm. it's, it's been nice. We get a lot of locals, a lot of people who have been working from home. The kids have been staying, in, you know, at home for school. They need to get out. They need to get to a um, a place where they can run around and let the kids run around and, and be outside. And um, so we've had a lot of a lot of bookings. Good. That's good. That's awesome. I know. Even with uh, it's it's definitely uncharted territories uh in, yeah. in, terms of, in terms of like the past the past year and, and and even just like even in the future like how it's going to look uh and stuff but i'm glad people are coming out again so that's good that's good to- yeah yeah what what have been um some of the um thorns and roses of um being a host um so just the, um, I guess just preparing, you know, turning the room, the room over, because we do it all ourselves between mm. my husband and me. And occasionally I get my kids in to right. help too. Okay. Um, my, my, uh, yeah. Um, so it, that, you know, can be a little hairy, just getting the room changed over. I've had to kind of figure out how to make it like 
where I can be fast, but also we have super high standards with our cleanliness. Mm. Um, we have a, an ozone uh, sanitation machine That's right. that we use. Yeah. Yeah. That we use that has, um, so it, we, we turn it on, it runs for an hour while I'm doing all the, you know, laundry and all of that extra stuff. And then I clean, I get it all ready, and then I turn it back on and it runs again before the next guest. If we have like a one day turnover, then mm -hmm. I'm able to do that. I know then that everything has been sanitized. It's been, um, and, and of course, all the linens and everything gets washed between mm -hmm. every, you know, every guest. Um, but, uh, that's been a, a bit more of a challenge. Hmm. Um, and then just, you know, having, um, it, it got, it took some time for my kids to get used to, like when we would have guests, my son likes to play basketball. And in the beginning, we're like, Oh no, you can't go outside. You know, the guests, we don't want to disturb them, but everybody's just, we've really had great experience with all of our guests. So, you know, now it's, it's, a little bit easier we're more comfortable having having our our guests here we don't feel like we have to be super you know we don't throw like massive parties or anything like that but um you know we just are more mindful but now we um we have more of a comfort having our having our guests here have you ever had any close calls when uh of like the turnover when you have to like kind of like like we have one uh, guest coming really quickly yeah. and the other guest leaving. Like how is the, how has that been? Um, I actually had to shorten my, so I have our guests, our checkout is at 10, I think. And our check-in is, I did, I did lengthen it to a little bit later, I think at four because of that. It used to be like 11 and three. And before, before COVID was not a big deal. I could mm. turn it over. Everything was great. But now with all this extra sanitation and the extra protocols that we're taking, it does take a lot longer. Yeah. Um, so there have been a couple of like harried times, but, um, but you know, I'm not walking out with a with the uh, vacuum cleaner as the guest is walking yeah. in. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, yeah, no, I can I can definitely see how that might like, or or something comes up or emergency, and you're like, oh my gosh, like. Yeah, uh, we actually did yeah. have an emergency. It was terrible, and I felt awful. And the guests were so um, gracious, and I was so I, I I was able to remedy everything through Airbnb. But um, we had an unexplained power outage. Uh, oh, wow. We live in a high fire um, area and we had some um, eastern uh, dry winds called Santa Ana's. And um, the power went out on Wednesday. Our guests had just arrived mm -hmm. and they had two little kids, uh, adorable family. And so by Thursday morning, I thought, oh my gosh, the power is not going to come back on. I got notification that it wasn't going to come back on for a few days mm -hmm. and we have a generator, but it's not, it would not have taken care of everything. Right. So the guests did have to um, find another place to stay. And I just, I felt like I, it's, I took my, I took responsibility because even though it wasn't my fault, right. um, it was not planned. Yeah. Right. But these right. winds had picked up. And so, yeah. So all of our community was without power for, two or three days oh wow that's mm -hmm. uh that's pretty significant actually um or, well culturally speaking here in america um other countries, yeah other countries it's a regular thing but um we are spoiled here so um no <laughs> um, yeah i mean uh, it, it you know unfortunately yeah. i think that's been the only time that that's ever happened and um so now everybody's looking into like battery backups mm. and tesla batteries and generators like better power generators so i mean if this becomes an issue we'll be we'll be jumping on that bandwagon right. and uh so that we can we can be fully functional without without power that right. we can still work yeah, yeah like off the grid a little bit exactly uh -huh. exactly good 
right on, right on. Um, some of the, um, I guess, like relationships you've established with some of the guests, like what has that looked like um, with uh, people who have like come and gone through your place? Yeah, you know, we've met just some really neat people, really, really neat. You know, we try to, my, my, what I, what I tell our guests when they come is that I'll be as, um, you know, distant as you want me to be. Of course, now with COVID, it has changed because, um, you know, we meet, we're distanced. I wear my mask. They wear their masks. Um, I tell them used to, I would go inside and show them around. But now with the, you know, different protocols and staying out, we meet outside. Um, and then I pretty much leave them alone. Um, but before that, we met some really, you know, nice people we would end up chatting with for the evening or, you know, they, um, um, we have a curry tree. It's a, it's amazing curry that is just like this massive tree. And I don't know, it's just, is really grown. So we have had a few families who like see this curry. They're like, Oh my gosh, I got to make this, you know, curry. I've known this, you know, curry rice or whatever it is. And they'll make some, we've had it a few times and then they always share with us. And, and um, so that was really fun. That was that, you know, just to kind of, you know, build a little bit of a relationship and, yeah. and, um, um, but now with the other thing I've noticed too, since we've had, the, the, you know, shutdown and COVID and all of that. Now that the families are coming back, the kids are a lot more engaging. Like they just, they have been cooped up in their houses or their apartments for so long. And now they see someone else. So I try to be, you know, as distant as I can, but also, you know, if they want to go see the horses or they want to see the goats or the chickens, I, you know, I'm a little bit more engaging as much as they want me to be. Um, but my daughter met a little girl one time. They hit it off really well, and they became pen pals for a while. Oh, so that was cool. fun. Yeah, that's yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, and that's an option on your at your place to see the horses and the animals. Yeah, yeah. Just, we have. Um, I have a my old horse, mm -hmm. uh, Lefty, and then I have two Shetland ponies, and we now have three goats that um, are, you know, right on the property. You can walk down and see them anytime. We also have uh, a lot of chickens. I don't know how many. I've, I don't count beyond 30. So we have at least 30 chickens. And they're all unique breeds. They're all different, and different personalities. And they're right outside um, the, the granny flat, the, the Airbnb. That, what, do you, um, what do you do with all those eggs, like from the chickens? Or the hand, like, uh, you know, we used to sell them. I give them to the neighbors. I bring them into work sometimes. Right yeah. now, they're not laying. They're they're we're not getting many eggs at all. They're it, it. with the short days, they stop laying. But once the days start getting longer again, they'll start laying again. Awesome. Yeah. So right now, we had to go out and buy eggs last week. It was embarrassing. It was a <laughs> We go to the store. Yeah. Yeah, a foreign experience. Yeah. No, that's good. <laughs> um, do you ever leave eggs for guests? Or I don't know if that's a thing. Like I do. yeah. Oh, you do? I that's do. so cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, when we're getting when we have enough, like right now I'm getting maybe one to two eggs a day. Oh yeah. So it's not no, yeah. it's not not good. But absolutely I was leaving um I have like a little uh egg dish and I leave about a half dozen. And I try to pick out like the, you know, the most unique, like we have a couple of chickens that lay green eggs or oh. the pinkish eggs or the, you know, speckled eggs and different, different yeah. colors, different sizes. Yeah. Green eggs and ham. That's a real yeah, thing. Yeah. Right. That's a that's real right. thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yeah, so we do, we will, or, or if they're local and they're leaving, well, you know, here's a half dozen, take, yeah. take them home when we do get quite a lot of eggs. That's, yeah, I love that. That's uh, that's super special. Yeah, I, I'd be stoked to see eggs if I came in. I'd be like, oh my gosh! Uh -huh. like, yeah, like yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You're gonna go buy some right now. So, um, love eggs, love eggs. Well, um, just gonna let's show your place right now. Let's let me just screen share. Awesome. So this is your place. Just like this. So we have. I'm gonna show it on the map. 
So mm-hmm. here. So we're located in uh, North County, San Diego, that um, we're kind of in a unique area. It's it's surrounded by all cities and, and you know, Escondido and San Marcos and um, Rancho Santa Fe and um, Encinitas. But um, Elgin Forest is this little, like, little nook that is totally rural. You don't realize that you're in, you know, a major uh, um, a city, but, um, but it has, you know, lots of uh, wildlife. In fact, I saw a bobcat that was sneaking around my chicken coop the other morning. Nice. Um, we have coyotes, uh, owls, and um, all kinds of, um, you know, lots and lots of wildlife. You really feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, even though, you know, we've got an Albertsons that's two miles down the road, a grocery store. We've got, you know, all kinds of eating places and, and um, you know, anything that you need within five, 10 minute drive. But, um, nice. but this, you know, with, with just miles and miles and miles of hiking trails and biking trails and, um, and we've got a Creek that's a mile from our house, lots of areas to hike. And very cool. Very cool. Yeah. Be out in nature. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. We're going to dive into this. So we have up to four guests, two beds, one bath. And uh, yeah, like you were saying, it's like a granny flat. So let's dive, mm-hmm. Dive mm-hmm. It sits in. above our garage, but it's super private. Yeah. We rarely hear anything and they don't hear anything on our part. Yeah, that's nice. We have uh, this. Is this, Do you have a name for this horse? Oh, yeah. This is my old horse. This is Lefty. Lefty. Yeah, I got him. I was I was a kid, so he's he's my uh oh, he's the reason why we are where we are. I used to um board him out in this area before we moved out here and then I, and then we found this property. So yeah, he's pretty special. Awesome. I love that name. So we have And those are uh, his two little buddies. How cool. Like, yeah. They're like smaller yeah, yeah, they're Shetland ponies. Uh huh. They're just lawn ornaments. They're Got sweet, it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, do people ride those Shetland? No. Uh, no. My like daughter kids? used to. Yeah, yeah like my kids. daughter used to. Uh huh. Oh, I cool. have a cart. We're going to try to train one of them to drive a cart. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's awesome. In my spare time. <laughs> so that's the entrance. It's stairs. It's about, like I said, it's above the garage. So the mm-hmm. stairs lead up to the um, front door. Yeah. We have a little landing area with some, you know, a little table and chairs. Oh. And that, yeah, right at the, at the turn there. Oh, right there. Um, Down below, actually. I think I have another picture of the oh. stairs. Cool. Yeah. Cool. We'll, we'll, we'll yeah. touch on it. Yeah. So we have... Yeah, and that's beautiful. our pasture. Yeah, that's where the horses are. It's beautiful. A lot of oak oak trees, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. We have a lot of hundred year old oak trees. That's awesome. Yeah, love. Uh, uh, yeah, personal favorite oak trees of mine. Um, mm-hmm. View from the front. We have the inside of the flat. So mm-hmm. looks like lots of yeah, lots of. Beautiful lighting. A lot of lighting. The yeah, ton of um, it's very open. Is that a skylight or? No, it's, it's just, just windows. The reflection from the window. Mm-hmm. Cool. 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 This is the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, since that picture, um, we've updated with a microwave and um, a Keurig and a cooktop and um toaster and cool cool yeah oh, let me go forward this is beautiful I yeah that's I actually that was in our pasture every year when we get a lot of rain we have a running creek that's so and cool. um and so that's so yeah that's what i one of the times when we have the you know windows open at night you can hear the creek running it's mm. pretty cool yeah it's amazing Yeah, we added a little fire, little faux fireplace heater that actually puts out a lot of heat. 
Awesome. And a, and a bigger yeah. television. We've upgraded our, our TV, so it is a lot bigger now. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we made, we've made a little bit of changes since those pictures. I think I need to um, update my photos. Yeah, and we have this awesome photo, fruit. I love fruit. Yeah. So. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I... <laughs> And we have a full size bed, and then the couch is a um, um, queen that that makes out into a, a queen size sofa sleeper, and it's brand new. Actually, we just, um, yeah, we've actually just bought a new um, mattress uh, for both the sofa sleeper and the bed. Awesome, awesome. This is what you're yeah. About. So that's the little uh huh, the little patio area that we have. Excellent. Looks out onto the grass and the chicken. Oh, oh, really? So yeah. it's like a, a nice place to like in the morning. Yeah, like, have mm -hmm. we have a lot of yeah, a lot of the guests like to hang out and awesome. drink their coffee. Yes, yes. We have beautiful, lots and lots of lighting. It's so cool. A lot of lighting. Yeah, mm -hmm. love that kitchen nook. Excellent. Mm -hmm. A little more of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And the, the goats. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Two of our goats. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, man. Yeah, they're pretty funny. Where did you get the goats at? Uh, uh, actually, a friend of mine was moving, and she was looking for homes for her goats. And I said, well, I'll take, I'll take those, too. They're the friendliest, and they're really, they're, they're pretty neat. Perfect. And they're really good at maintaining the, the pasture. It was getting a little overgrown. Um, and, you know, living where we live with the high fire, it's nice to have them because they do keep things down. They keep them pretty well maintained. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely do their part. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do yeah. You, do, you, uh, do you get goat milk from them or? No. 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 no, no. Okay. Uh -uh. Just, just a random thought. Okay. Yeah, no, I've been asked that actually. I've been asked really? that quite often. Yeah, no, you, it's a it's a lot of work. I've yeah, don't have time for that. Maybe someday. Yeah, maybe someday. It would someday. be kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, this is the is that the Keurig? Oh, that's updated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and the, the and Keurig. The, cool. Mm -hmm. The appliance is awesome. Yeah, uh, oak trees. Yeah, that is the window actually from the grand. So it's funny because the the unit has the best views from our or any part of our house. Mm. I think because it sits up so high, yeah. it really has some amazing views. Yeah, and the sunsets that we get are incredible. That's the view from the front door. Another picture of the bed, oh, the, bathroom. the bathroom. Excellent. 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 Yeah. Another view. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Horses. They're just hanging out. Mm hmm. <laughs> that's probably what they're doing right now. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. There's some more beautiful views. Oh, it's nice. The goats doing the thing. Okay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, just around the We area. have a bridge. It's oh, funny. Okay. We have a we have this crazy bridge. It's, we call it the bridge to nowhere. And it uh -huh. just goes from one end to the other. But it's it's not it needs to be it's got some sides that aren't super secure, so we don't go on it, but it's just really neat to see. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this? Uh, that's our barn cat. And he's our <laughs> feral, not feral cat. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty. He's a he's a pretty funny cat. Oh, catches the mice. Nice. He's like he's just around. Yeah. You'll, you'll yeah, see he's it. just oh. around. You'll yeah, see around. everybody sees him. Cool. I made one of the little nooks into kind of a sitting area. I mm -hmm. actually really like it. 
the, yeah. and the chair kind of folds out it you know reclines mm-hmm. awesome it's very yeah a lot of lighting they put a lot of those lights which are kind of stark but they you can turn them off in, in different sections so it gives kind of a nice um um areas you know you can have different even though it's one it's an open space you feel like there's different areas to be in that you mm-hmm. kind of close off yeah and then we have looks like some guest instructions right here yeah yeah i have cool. a little uh-huh cool just you know with our we're gated um so i i do like to meet our guests before they arrive you know or when they arrive um so we always um will have we'll let them in they let us know when they've arrived we let them in we meet them and then we give all the gate codes and code to get in the code to you know all of that and then there's some extra instructions our wi-fi we you know because we have we've had a few families come who are the kids are still in school they need internet so we try to you know we provide internet um and netflix and you know apple tv that sort of thing cool cool that's great so this is the couch that you said is the yeah. uh, sleeper cool mm-hmm. awesome yeah just the sunrise is mm-hmm. so pretty oh that's cool That's and that's the creek. That's just from a walk, a 20 minute walk from our house. Mm-hmm. So just to be there and, and yeah, it's beautiful. And it's green like that year round. Yeah. And this is the creek as well. Mm-hmm. Looks like. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So good. So you're saying uh, things to do around the area. And kind of mm-hmm. shift into that, which is the Escondido Preserve, uh, which is you're pretty much it's on the it. Elf, yeah, yeah. The Elfin Forest Preserve is right down the street. It's maybe three miles from our house, uh-huh. and there's tons of. Um, I mean, there's some trails. They call them the Way Up Trail. It goes way up, but you have these amazing 100, you know, 360 views, um, the ocean to the mountains, and um, the um um yeah it's, it's beautiful it's really really beautiful but mo- mostly for hiking they do have biking trails there as well um horseback riding <laughs> too lots of parking they have um you know kind of a little area to learn about the the you know indigenous plants and animals and birds and stuff gotcha do you have to is parking do you have to pay for parking at no uh uh-uh, parking is free right oh nice awesome. mm-hmm. good stuff yeah it looks it looks yeah amazing. it's really amazing. pretty yeah amazing um and you're also pretty close to the beaches as well yeah we're about 20 minutes 15, 20 minutes from some of the, the best beaches in Southern California. Um, Moonlight and Encinitas is near. Um, we're near Del Mar beaches. Um, the Dog Beach in Del Mar is one of our favorites. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, we're near Carlsbad. Um, yeah, it's pretty, we're pretty close to everything. You feel like you're far away, but really we're we're in a good a good spot. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, you are also pretty close to Lego Land, uh, which you were saying. Have you ever been personally? Yes, I used to go all the time when my kids were little. We had passes, and we went probably once a week. Oh, yeah, no. cool. Yeah, we went all the time. It was mm-hmm. fun. It was great. The kids loved it. The it's geared it, to me. It's perfect for like the three to seven, eight year olds, you know, unless the kids are really into Legos. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's fun. It's a, and yeah, it's, you, certain times it can be crowded, but really it was never that bad, even on the weekends. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and last but not least, you are 
really close to Safari Park. How far away yeah. are you from the Safari Park? Park? Is probably twenty minutes. Yeah, Ooh. twenty twenty five minutes. It's not far at all. Um, it's uh, and of course, I mean, it's it's amazing. You're out in this area where you have you know here amongst the the giraffes and the rhinos and the lions and tigers and I mean it's pretty pretty amazing yeah yeah I've never never been but um oh yeah we used to go again when my kids were were um uh when they were younger we used to go we had annual passes nice nice yeah awesome yeah so you're pretty much a drive away from oh it's super here. quick yeah. yeah and then legoland how far are you guys from legoland again we're about 20 minutes 20 yes. maybe 30 minutes you know between depending on traffic between 20 and 30 we're like i said we're right in the middle you drive right. 20 minutes going west you're at the beaches you drive 20 minutes going east and you're at safari park nice yeah it's you're like yep i love it you're really uh central yeah. to a lot yeah. of the things to do in the san diego area so mm -hmm. that's really awesome absolutely good stuff that's good. Some people are, are, it sounds like there's a lot to do at your, by staying at your place. There's like animals and um, something for everyone. Oh, for sure. yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. And then, you know, we also have some great wineries. Um, of course, Temecula Valley has great wineries, but then we've got some really good ones in um, just south, uh, uh, Rancho Bernardo um, in ha down the, down the road and, yeah, some, how, you know, lots, far, lots of things to do. Yeah, or how, how far um, is the nearest winery to you guys? Probably 20, 20 minutes. 20 wow. minutes. Wow. Yeah, uh, again, it's all, yeah. <laughs> it's not very far. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, probably That's... 20, 30 minutes. Cool, cool. Good stuff. Awesome. Well, um, Jessica, I really appreciate you sharing. Um, yeah, about your place, your story, how you got started. Absolutely. Um, Thank you. Like, you have such a unique, such a unique um, Airbnb and like um, really, really an affordable price to stay at. And, um, and like for smaller size fam families or couples, which is really awesome and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Yeah. Was there anything else uh, you wanted to share? Anything I didn't ask that you wanted me to ask? You know, I don't think so. Um, we just, we've really enjoyed it. We've really, we've met some great people. Um, we've enjoyed the, having that extra income too, mm. but also just the experience of being host has been a lot of fun. I'm sorry, oh, my dog keeps good. talking. <laughs> no, you're good, you're good. I love it. You're, you're so that's the other, we have a couple of dogs it's... and everybody gets to know my little dog. She's the... The, she's the sweetest thing and loves the kids, but we realize she really loves the kids because they usually have food <laughs> and she loves to, you know, eat anything and everything. But, um, mm -hmm. but she knows when, when we have guests with kids, it's like, she's got her kid radar on <laughs> and she knows that she can run mm -hmm. up there and bark and go in and everybody, you know, she's a sweet dog. And my big dog is really sweet too, but he's, he usually just, is with me he's wherever i am that's awesome um that's a smart dog <laughs> yeah yeah oh good stuff okay cool well thanks again for sharing your story and um i really 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 appreciate it um uh, jessica and uh absolutely until, thank you yeah anytime until next time guys cool